Nine. Coming back at you with another video. Um, kid's gonna. I guess we're gonna take it easy on this truck and not try to rush. I get into a rush mode. <clears throat> but I mean, I don't screw anything up. Get into a rush mode. I just get into a rush mode. Like let's get it done. Get it. Get, get it done. Get it done. And, uh, yeah, he wants, he doesn't want me to kill myself doing this truck. Um, but you guys know me. I'll probably, I was already getting into it and getting dirty yesterday. So my main goal <clears throat> of stuff to do is I want to get the pressure washer out and I want to clean this thing. Um, get some sunglasses on. It's already bright out there. It's already hot. And bright so I want to get this thing cleaned up I tried it yesterday with just the hose and it's not working so as you can see I have this these battery tray things out um, if you guys didn't watch yesterday's video that battery has zero voltage that has like seven to eight volts so anyway that was half the problem um, these are gasket kits that we've had from his truck because they double sent them to us so this is a timing cover set and then this other box is a rear rear diff set this is from my truck my second gen it's a clutch uh, fan clutch so um, the reason why I've I went and looked and found that thing is because the fan clutch on the truck is completely seized or it was completely seized I was pulling uh, which to me so as you can see there's that there's this 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 um, there was a bunch more I had up here on the radiator but to me it looks like the belt had slipped off and got tangled right in between there right in between where you know it spins freely basically where this little I think there's a bearing in there and uh, yeah I think it <clears throat> wound itself on there because the belt is like only four or five ribs instead of it being like six or seven ribs and that belt literally feels like jelly like it's it's gone that belt <clears throat> if the AC worked and the AC kicked on the belt wouldn't even wouldn't even grip onto it um, because the uh, oil it's so oil soaked so anyway um, yeah we took the radiator out it's right there fan, sh fan shield so kid was out here helping me after he got off work um but yeah kind of this this little piece right here kind of feels like it's cracked I think that's cracked right there so this might have had a killer dowel pin go but I don't know. I want to take this off and check and see because that's just from sitting overnight. And uh, if it is cracked, then I could probably just weld it, JB weld it from inside or something. But yeah, it's it's nasty. This thing's nasty. I think the best thing. The best thing that happened to this truck was us buying it. Was, it's so neglected, so just driven. Um, the front, the pitman arm, this nut was loose. Um, I had the kid steer it back and forth a little bit. That thing's loose. <laughs> this hokey bolt is loose. Their weld job. He did tell me that, you know, they welded it with some battery welder. Which doesn't look like it. Just looks like some crappy welds. So we'll probably cut that all off. 
regrind it. <clears throat> um, yeah. So it's got a, a lot of wiring issues. A lot of wiring issues. So uh, maybe not a lot, but they just have a lot of just nonsense wiring going to nonsense places like. The headlights, I think, are HIDs, which don't need to be. So we'll probably delete those, put it back to factory. It had the LED bar light, um, which the fuse was completely melted. And I think they have it hardwired. So they don't really have anything, like, on switches or anything. Um, everything's just hardwired straight to batteries so yeah we'll have to figure all that out <clears throat> so my main goal for today is I just want to get that front cover all cleaned up and uh, take that cover off take the harmonic balancer off see what's actually going on in there because they said they you know they had a Hamilton cam I'm kind of wondering if the Dow pin did go and that's why they did a cam because they did the probably sprockets because that P pump I have doesn't have a gear. So I don't know. Um, they did say they did a dowel pin, but we'll find out. So I'm gonna spray it down. I'm just gonna get it clean a little bit with some simple green, and then uh, I'll pull that cover off, check everything out. But yeah. Fan clutch shot already, um, but we have one thankfully. Front seal, everything leaking. We have one already. Uh, thankfully, I'm a hoarder and keep stuff. So, yeah, so that's where we're going. I'm gonna go wash it right now, and then uh, it's getting warm, and I'm gonna zip all that stuff off once it dries. And, uh, yeah, we'll show you, we'll show you in this video, so I will be back. All right, people, whipped out the pressure washer, started just cleaning as much as I could. So I got it as clean, pretty much as clean as I can get it for now, um, around this whole area. It's pretty much as clean as it's going to get. So, I'll go ahead and grab me a... M12 electric Milwaukee ratchet and uh, see about taking this all apart. Gotta take this crank sensor off. Um, this bolt's still there for the thingy majigger and uh, knock this thing, take it off up here, knock it off, take the Harmonic balancer off, which looks decent. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get to it. I did spray and hose, and I mean, I'm soaked. I was laying under the truck, hosing it off. Uh, these are fossilized rock that I've had. I've actually had to order these rocks, they were special order, so I just went under here and pressure wash because we're going to take the tranny out pressure wash the heck out of it look at that pinion angle boop so yeah some people man oh also when you're pressure washing a greasy nasty nasty greasy greasy nasty vehicle the black plague don't do it within splatter of a white truck I had to wash the whole side of my truck uh, about three times. So, yeah, it had a bunch of nasty grease crap all over it. Clean these battery trays so they can, maybe I can use them on the toy hauler. I don't know. Who knows? I think the batteries for the toy hauler are way too big. All right, guys, let me pull all that crap off and uh, go from there. And uh, might as well keep going since I'm this greasy. Well, it's still not that hot. Yeah. Hot. 
All right, got the clutch fan, the fan clutch, whatever you want to call it, swapped out. The second gen does fit. It is a little bit bigger in diameter, but it does fit, it does work, which means it's probably an upgrade, more horsepower. So here's the old one. It's It spins a little bit, so I'm assuming the bearing's just shot in there. Has to be shot because of all the serpentine belt I pulled off. Okay, you guys ready for some some uh, neglect and some, if you don't know how to work on cars, just buy a Prius or lease a car and just take it in. All right, here we go, here we go. Nothing to report other than looks like we got a Hamilton cam. So kid kid's probably right. Hamilton cams. But uh yeah, if you look at the surface here, you can see the front timing cover just came right off. And if you guys have ever worked on one of these, you'll know that the front timing cover never just comes right off. Looks like we got the killer dowel pin fix in there. So what they did was they took the cover off and it looks like they just threw copper seal copper seal on it, which isn't even sticking. Uh, gaskets just not even sticking to this. So yep. That's what we got. Which is really really good for me because easier for me to clean all this junk off. It does look like the P-pump. Well, maybe that is not the P-pump, that's the cam. It does look like the cam rubbed, the cam gear rubbed a little bit. So I'm gonna check those bolts that hold the cam gear in there. Cause if it's like the rest of the truck, it's probably not tight. So anyway, this feels like a, a good quality gasket but I don't know it might be in some sort of copper gasket but it's already been crushed it's already been done so it's pretty much trash along with these batteries so I'll use some Permatex gray clean that cover up really good check all the inside check that uh, killer dowel pin bolt check it all out and uh, yeah I'll throw I'm gonna check clean this front cover off check it out really good see if that was a crack it might not have been a crack if it is a crack then I might just JB weld it I might do some jerry rigging because I don't know what type of metal it is it might be aluminum I don't really know and I don't really feel like welding on it because then it'll probably warp it so um actually what i probably will do is if it is a crack i'll ask my kid what he wants to do because it's his truck he wants to do whatever he wants to do with this truck so if he wants to get a new cover who knows maybe a billet cover or who knows what these kids do these days to fancy their trucks up i wouldn't recommend a billet cover because then you don't get flex but yeah that's just me all right, guys, um, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to go through the truck, go through that stuff, check it all out. If it's all good, then, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll put a couple bolts in, put the timing cover back on with a new front main seal, obviously, and uh, throw the cover on without sealant, just put a couple bolts in and then see what the kid wants to do just to protect it. So... Alright guys, got to go see you on the next video. Let me know if you guys are liking this truck. My kid, I think my kid really likes the truck. He just doesn't want me wrenching on it a bunch. He doesn't want me to kill myself. Because he knows how I get. Because if I'm like, hey, I need to get this tranny out. I'll bring this arm and the camera arm to the show. And maybe a jack or two. Alright guys, see you on the next one. Later.